Hello and welcome back to Wiggle Park Guns TV. Today I'm going to be reviewing two rifles alongside one another. The first one is the FX Impact M3 and the second is the Reximex Ixia. So first of all the FX Impact M3. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this rifle. It's been on the market for a little while now. It's an absolutely fantastic looking rifle. We have the uh, biathlon style side lever which a lot of a lot of manufacturers are doing now. Uh, this rifle is dual regulated, which means in 2-2 you get about 730 shots per fill and uh, has a carbon tank and you get a huge magazine capacity in 2-2, I believe it's 28 rounds, in 177 it's 38 rounds. Uh, it comes complete with sound moderator as well. Uh, so um, this is available in black and bronze. Uh, I think the bronze looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, you have uh, this lovely safety catch at the side. It's one of my favorite features of this rifle. Clicks on and off so nicely. Uh, weaver rail uh, on the top, weaver rail on either side. So you've got plenty of accessory rails there. One underneath as well for a bipod, although a lot of the bipod attachments are a little bit long. So I have had them cut down so they'll fit on, on uh, a few occasions but you can buy Sabre Tactical Rail, which will run the full length of the bottle so you can put um, accessories or a bipod wherever you like. Um, absolutely amazing rifle. I'll be putting it through its paces with accuracy uh, in this video. And um, it's, yeah, it, it just looks awesome. Uh, these are 1,844 pounds. Sounds like a lot of money, but when you get your hands on one, you'll realize why. Now this new rifle here from Reximex, the Ixia, this is brand new on the market and at first glance it, it looks very very similar to the Impact. I think they've done a really good job of, of sort of replicating that. You've still got your biathlon lever here, you have an aluminium tank, now it makes the rifle a little heavier, however I think if you could get a, a carbon tank for this, I'm not sure if you can or not. I'm going to have to check that with the supplier, but if uh, if you get a carbon tank for this, I think that would be a, a huge contender, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, this has a dual Picatinny rail, not a weaver rail, so you can actually put 11mm dovetail mounts on here, or you can put weaver mounts on. It's entirely up to you. A power adjuster at the back. Um, you've got an adjustable uh, shoulder piece here, which goes up and down. Threaded half-inch UNF, for, so any standard silencer will go on. You don't need, uh, oh sorry, it doesn't come with a with a sound moderator. Uh, you'd have to buy one separately. Now these are retailing at £745. So straight off the bat, this looks like a hell of a lot of rifle for that money. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put a scope on each of these. We're going to get on the range. I'm going to chronograph them both, see what, uh, see what power they're, they're achieving and then we're going to do some accuracy tests. So first of all, I'm going to run both rifles through the chronograph. So I'm just going to get this loaded up here. Um, safety catch is on. On the Reximex, the safety catch is a really cool little design actually. It's just there under the trigger guard. So safety off is down, safety up is on. Nice little, uh, nice little design there. So to load this rifle, you pull the lever back and the magazine loads uh, towards the rear and the it actually loads upside down um, so it loads in from the left hand side upside down like so and it just slides in like that so this one uh, the Rexamex is actually in 177 
So I'm using RWS Superfield and they weigh 8.4 grains. So I'm just going to tap that into the chronograph here, 8.40, enter. And we'll see what it's achieving. So that's pretty consistent. We're getting about 11.4 foot pounds, which is absolutely perfect. To be honest with you, anything over 10 foot pounds is more than adequate for, for hunting and target shooting. So um, yeah, at, at that, that's, that's a very good power. So now we're gonna go ahead and chronograph the impact. This is in 2.2 caliber. For this, I'm using RWS Super Dome and they weigh 14.5 uh, grains. So I'm just going to pop that figure into here, 14.5, enter. Now, the um, VFX, again, loads from the back, massive magazine, absolutely enormous. Uh, that, uh, that just slots in like so. So let's see what this is achieving. So that's giving me a consistent reading um, of about 11.4. So power-wise, they're, they're very, very close together. Um, so let's move on to accuracy. Okay, so I've just zeroed both rifles in. Um, I'm gonna send a target down the range. We're gonna put a group of three from each rifle um, side by side and see how they stack up. Now, in fairness, this was the Reximex. My first two shots were basically through the exact same hole. Um, the third shot, I felt myself flinch. That was, that was genuinely my fault. Um, so I'm gonna test them again. We're gonna put another three shots in each um, and then we'll, uh, we'll see if I can shoot better. Uh, this was the FX, 
Now bear in mind that the FX is in 2.2 two and uh, the Rex FX is in 177, so naturally it's going to be a tighter, tighter group in 177. However, what we're doing here is seeing how well they group um, comparatively. So I'm just gonna load these mags back up. I'll send this back down and we'll do the same at the top and uh, yeah, see if I can improve my aim. There we go, that's a little bit better. So again, this side is Rexamex, this side is FX. Remember, this is 177, this is 22. That's the Rexamex. Um, I'm not sure I could actually do better than that shooting off um, a front rifle rest. Um, possibly better laying down on a bipod. Uh, again, the FX, uh, nice tight group in there. Bear in mind that's 22. Not sure I could do better than that again, uh, just off that rest. Um, but I must say that that Rexamex is incredibly impressive for £745. Um, that accuracy is absolutely brilliant. The FX, I would expect no, no more than that at all. Um, but wow, yeah, that, that Rexamex for the money, I don't think, I don't think that's going to be beaten to be perfectly honest with you. A couple of, couple of different points. Now with the FX, the trigger is so crisp and you've got a lovely first stage. You can feel when the second stage is going to, um, is going to, you know, break. Um, super quiet with that FX sound moderator on and it's super smooth to shoot. The cocking lever is smoother than the Rexamex. Um, and for shot count, yes, you're going to get an awful amount, awful, load of shots out of that, like over 700. The Rexamex, that is a regulated rifle. It has one, the FX has two, which is where you get so many shots. Um, with the Rexamex, the cocking lever isn't as smooth. It's still a nice action. Um, the trigger on the Rexamex, I need to see if there's any adjustment there because the first stage is very, very uh, shallow. So it is a two stage trigger. But that first stage, I just need to see if there's any adjustment. I'd like a little bit more, um, but um, it shoots brilliantly. But like I say, I'd like a little bit more creep on that first stage, but you know, each to their own. Um, so comparing the two rifles, if I had the best part of 2000 pounds to spend on a rifle, which one would I choose? Yes, I'd choose the FX because it is just a lovely rifle all around. There's not really any bad points I can say about it mechanically. Um, if I didn't, then to be honest, I think I'd probably buy one of those Rex MX anyway, because that's phenomenal accuracy. That really is. I think, I think they're gonna sell very, very well. If you haven't seen one and you live locally, or even if you don't, come in and see us and um, we're open Tuesday, 
Wednesday and Friday, 9 till 5. We're open Saturday, 9 till 4. We're open Sunday, 10 till 1. We've got a test range here, so if you want to try something before you buy it, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, I hope that this video has been uh, enjoyable for you all. And um, yeah, I'll bring you some more videos soon.